and welcome to Two Tired Teachers and Cooking on the Go. And when I did the unboxing and setting up of the camp oven, the Coleman camp oven, I told you I'd let you see our first couple of tries at it. And this is going to be our first try. We're going to be making some sugar-free brownies. And we have an 8x8 eight eight pan that we are going to spray lightly with some cooking spray. And this is... It says to add a third of a cup of oil, three tablespoons of water, and one egg. We don't do the oil, uh, so we're going to double down on the eggs. See how that goes. And I will tell you from now on, when we're on longer trips, I'm going to be using, uh, anytime it calls for milk, I'm going to be using dry milk and, and hydrating that with water. And then the same thing, we're going to be using uh, dry eggs. And see how that works, simply because we have a whole lot more storage for dry goods than... You know, we're going on a month-long trip. Real estate inside the refrigerator is kind of a premium. But for this trip, we do have regular eggs, so that'll give us a better uh, barometer as to how well this turns out. I may be, I, we've got the camp oven set up out there. We, our batter is ready, our pan is ready, and I'm going to go in and tell you that uh, air temperature outside is in the mid-70s, I'd say. So the air temperature is not going to be a huge factor because it's so cold or because it's so hot uh, so we'll get a little bit better idea of how accurately uh, like we said we're gonna have to um, adjust as the temperature adjusts but this says for an 8x8 it should take about 30 minutes to cook so we'll see how that works okay I am gonna tell you that firing this up for the first time it smells a little bit like a furnace you know when the dust kind of burns off that first burn of the winter and so just got a little whiff of that but it seems to be heating up. Okay, first impressions. I will tell you I understand why people make covers for these. Um, it's a comfortable day. It's, like I said, mid-70s t-shirt and jeans are fine. But heat is just radiating off of this. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but there's just heat coming off actually all four sides. So I understand why people have used like um, welding cloths to make covers for these. I wish Coleman made a cover for this. That would be a really handy thing to have. But let's see how it works. Um, the other thing is if you're going to do this, my suggestion is uh, start with a full bottle of propane because I'm not real sure how much it's going to take but it's going to be nice to have that option okay at 20 minutes I can definitely start to smell these brownies <laughs> um, but it's been cooking at a little bit lower temperature I do have it on the bottom rack in here um, so we'll just kind of keep an eye on it but it is baking it so it's doing what it's supposed to Okay, I've sped this up just a little bit so that uh, hopefully it won't be quite as boring. But I will tell you, the entire oven does get very hot. And so you definitely need uh, hot pads, and it would be easier to do if you weren't holding a camera as well. But didn't have any toothpicks, so used a shish kebab skewer to check to see that it was done. You'll notice this did burn around the edges just a little bit. Um... And it was on the lowest shelf, so moving it up may have helped with that a little bit. Um, I am opting to use a plastic knife with this pan just to try and keep it from scratching as uh, long as possible. But these were really, really done, and it's taking a little bit longer to cut through simply because uh, of the fact that it did burn a little bit, but but the oven did exactly what it was supposed to. It cooked these brownies completely through. Okay, now for our taste test. It's good. It did burn the crust just a little bit. I don't mind that at all. But it's just a matter of, I had turned the flame down so I thought the temperature would go down. Well, I don't know if the wind got, you know, settled down a little bit or what, but that's just, you know, part of what we're dealing with here. But we can, we can bake while we're on the road. And so, like I said, I don't know how much propane it's going to take, but it's nice to have this option. Mm -hmm. So we will uh, show you our next episode 
uh, I'm thinking it's going to be Mexican cornbread. And probably not what you're thinking of. It's actually stuffed cornbread. So we'll give that a try next time. Thanks, Thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.